everybody, I'm Jerry with Vet Tech Bites, and today we are going to be doing CRI Calculations Part 3, Multi-Drug CRIs. So what I mean by multi-drug CRIs are we're going to talk about CRIs that incorporate more than one medication per CRI. So um, primarily I'm going to be focusing on fentanyl, lidocaine, and ketamine since it's a pretty common combination that most people can get behind or at least have had some experience with. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we have our five things that we're gonna need in the top left, so that way we don't have to worry about it. So we have all of our information that we're going to need. We have our three medications, fentanyl at five mics per kick per hour, lidocaine at 20 mics per kick per minute, and ketamine at 10 mics per kick per minute. Our patient is seven kilograms, uh, and we're gonna make it run in a nice 1.5 mils per hour for a total of three hours, all right? And remember, the rate and the duration can always change depending on whatever your situation is. You got a longer procedure, shorter procedure, whatever. You can change those times. Those two are always up for change. The rest are all the, pretty much the same. All right, so let's kind of just do it one medication at a time, and then afterwards we're kind of combining it all together and it'll all work out. So, we want to set up our dosage as our math formula. Just set it up as the equation. So five mics per kick per hour. So five mics per kick per hour. So we have five times seven kicks equals 35 micrograms per hour. Um, we take 35 divided by 50 the concentration so we can get our mills um, 35 divided by 50 is going to equal 0.7 so we know that we're going to be we're going to need 0.7 mills per hour for three hours right so times three hours is going to equal a total of 2.1 2.1 mils of total fentanyl for this CRI. So, that's fentanyl. Next up, lidocaine, which we're going to be doing at 20 mics per kg per minute. So, same thing as before. We're going to set up our dosage as our equation. So, 20 mics per kg per minute. 20 mics per kg per minute. 20 micrograms times 7 kgs times 60 minutes. So, 20 times 7 is 140 micrograms per minute times 60 minutes in one hour. So, 140 times 60 is going to equal 8,400 micrograms per hour. Since we can't convert anything in micrograms, we need to change it to milligrams, so we need to divide by 1,000 to get a total of 8.4 milligrams per hour. And just like we did before, 8.4 milligrams divided by 20. 20 mg per mil, the concentration, we know that's going to equal 0.8 or two mils per hour times three hours. So 0.42 times three is going to equal 1.26 mils of total of total ketamine, right? All right. Now we go on to the next one. Next one is going to be ketamine. So, ket equals, and again, just like before, set up your dosage as your equation. Ketamine, 10 mics per kick per minute. 10 mics per kick per minute. 10 times 7 times 60. 60 minutes in an hour. 
70 times 60. Four thousand two hundred micrograms per hour. And again, since we can't convert anything in micrograms, we need to divide it by a thousand to equal four point two milligrams per hour. And then we divide by our concentration to get our mils per hour. So four point two divided by one hundred. equals 0 0.042 mils per hour and again because we're at per hour we need to multiply it by three hours which is going to give us 0 0.126 mils of total drug All right, so we're gonna take our totals, we're gonna add them up. So we got 2.1, 1.26, and 0.126. Kind of funny how that turns out. So if you add those all together, you get 3.486 of total drug right but if we have a 1.5 mil per hour for three hour CRI that means one three four and a half we're gonna need four and a half mils total total volume so we do 4.2 minus 3.486 mils. Or, or we take 4.5 mils, which is our total volume, and subtract the, the 3.486 of, of mils of total drug that we're going to be adding. There is a remainder of 1.014 mils of diluent that we need to add. So if you add 1.014 mils of diluent to all of the drug that we just calculated together and give it at 1.5 mils per hour, your patient will receive all of these medications at these dosages, right? So <laughs> I know that's kind of a lot and I know it's a lot of math on one screen, but if you really do just take it step by step, if you just take your dosage, turn that into your equation, it's one swift, easy line of math that'll take you to the end. And you can always double check it every time, just calculate out the uh, concentration of the new solution you're making. Make sure that lines up with the amount per hour you're giving of each medication, and you can't go wrong anytime. All right, so that finishes up part three of the CRI calculations series. Um, I know it's getting a bit a bit dense in here, but I hope it's not too difficult to understand. If you are able to um, able to kind of get what I'm saying, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. Um, if you aren't, you know, also let me know maybe how. I, I, you know, maybe I can switch it up. Maybe I can uh, explain it a bit of a different way. Um, so I hope you had a good time, and I will see you next time in Vet Tech Bites.